Greetings, saints. I am excited, excited, excited. Sister Melissa here, excited. Because daily declaration number two, don't let Satan shut down your praise. Saints, I'm telling you, we have an enemy. We have an enemy, the adversary. And one of the first things that he does is try to shut down your praise so that those praise will not go forth from your lips. How many of you can relate? How many of you can relate to going through something in your life, a trial and affliction in your life? And then it's like, you just go silent because now everything is happening in your thoughts. You started to think, you know, you're thinking on this, you're thinking on that. And you, your mouth is no longer offering a praise to the Heavenly Father. Don't let Satan shut down your praise. One of the first things that he tries to do when we're going through our trials, when we're going through our afflictions, is to shut those praise from coming out of your lips. I can tell you from experience. From experience, I can tell you this. This is something that I learned personally in my walk with the Heavenly Father, in my walk on this narrow path. is one of the things that I learned personally because i've seen it where you know i'm going through a tough time and whether it has a family or whatever the case may be and i'm silent because now our thoughts are going wild and we have to bring those thoughts captive the reason we have to bring those thoughts captive because when the thoughts start to go overwork and in overdrive the mouth is shut the mouth is shut but psalm 44 says I will bless Yahuwah at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. So your declaration today is for your praise, for that for the praises that you've given to the Heavenly Father, the Holy Father, as Yahusha prayed in John 17, Holy Father. Saints, we have one Holy Father, and that Holy Father does not live in Rome, right? We have one Holy Father, as Yahusha prayed in John 17. Go read it yourself. Holy Father, so open your mouth today and you give praise, you give glory, you give adoration to the Holy Father in heaven who created you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Give praises and glory to the Holy Father. I will bless Yahuwah at all times. And by the way, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. If you missed my last video, Go check it out. Check out the details. What has been done to remove his name from the scriptures. Right? Go check out last week's Kingdom Talk episode. I will bless Yahoo at all times. At all times. No matter what you're going through. You're feeling high. You're feeling low. I will bless Yahuwah at all times. Your husband left. Your husband lost his job. Or you lost your job. I will bless Yahuwah at all times. Someone got admitted into the hospital. I will bless Yahuwah at all times. You got an injury. I will bless Yahuwah at all times. Money flowing. The, you got paid money into your bank. I will bless Yahuwah at all times. You gave birth. Your child is healthy. I will bless Yahuwah at all times. You wake up this morning and you don't feel all right. But I will bless Yahuwah at all times. This prayer shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. Don't let Satan come and shut your praise. Only the dead go down in silence. When, when we die, right? And for us in Mashiach, we sleep, but we go that death as it is written in the physical state. When we experience that physical state of death, nothing else is required of us. Nothing more is required. The dead go down in silence. It's silence. Don't let it be written because do you know everything that we do upon this earth is being recorded in a sefer, right? In a book, it's been recorded. So don't let it be recorded that today, Melissa, all what Melissa did, but no praise was in my mouth. Melissa did this and Melissa did that and Joanna did this and Joanna did that, you know? But there is no record of you having give praise in your mouth because of what you're going through. I will bless Yahuwah at all times. His praise shall continually be in your mouth. Let his praise today, let your declaration of praise today come forth of your mouth. The same Psalm 34 says, Oh, magnify Yahuwah with me and let us exalt his name together. Exalt his name together. Hallelujah. Let us exalt his name together. 
magnify him open your mouth no matter how you feel the scripture didn't ask how you feel today why art thou cast down O my soul why art thou disquieted within me hope thou in your whore no matter how you feel you talk to your soul you command your soul you don't listen to your feelings you don't listen to your emotions that telling you oh don't listen to the flesh that says you know what i don't feel like doing that right now i just want to lie down in bed i just want to shut the curtains you don't listen to that no command your soul bless your oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name you command your soul to bless your you command your soul to bless his holy name that is what you do psalm 51 15 oh adonai open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise allow adonai to open your lips today and to show forth his praise don't let satan come and shut your praise don't let him shut your praise open your lips today open your mouth today and declare the goodness of yahuwah for all that he has done for you you have the breath of life according to the french the souffle vie as long as you have the souffle vie as long as you have the breath of life open your mouth and show forth his, his praise from your lips you can breathe this morning songness of mind this morning find things find things around you that you could be thankful and grateful for this morning because there's so much we can be grateful for if we just take our eyes off of all that's not working in our life seemingly in our minds right in our minds that's not working in our mind that's what we talk i'm talking about because you know we humans we've been programmed we've been programmed to focus on the negative We've been programmed to focus on what's working. We've been programmed to focus on the flaws. We've been programmed to focus on the faults. It's time to break that programming, right? Break that programming. Oh, Adonai, open my lips. Open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. Break that programming. And today, today I declare that you focus on all that's working for you in your life right now. Today I declare that you focus on the tender mercies that Yahuwah has poured out for you right now. Today I declare that you focus on his loving kindness that he has poured out to you right now. Today I declare that you focus on his faithfulness that he has poured out to you right now. Today I declare that you focus on his favor that he has poured out to you right now. Today I declare that you praise him just for the gift of everlasting life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know what that means? For those that will escape torment. You know, my husband and I, we were, we were talking this past Sabbath. And we were saying, it's not like um, a lot of people don't realize. And I'm talking, about, I'm talking about those who walk in darkness. They don't realize that there is a day coming. The num this, You see, just as each of us, our days are numbered. Our days are numbered. It's the very same way there is a, the, the earth itself. There is a number for the length of time for this earth. And, if, and, and there is a number also for the Gentiles. Those that will be grafted in, there's a number. So what this tells us, saints, is that there is a day appointed for judgment. Whether we believe it or not. Like my husband always says, you look at the tree outside. Somebody could say, I believe it doesn't have roots. You could believe it doesn't have roots. It doesn't stop it from having the roots. That's keeping it up right you couldn't believe you could believe that there's no judgment you could believe that there's no elohim the scripture says only a fool saith in his heart that there is no elohim you could believe that right that there's no elohim it doesn't stop it from the fact that there is an elohim who sits in the heavens and ruleth over the heavens and the earth it doesn't stop that fact it doesn't stop the fact that there is an elohim who has a set an appointed day for judgment and when that judgment comes saints it's not like this is the judgment for those who are it will take part in the second record resurrection and of course will lead to death it's not like okay this is the judgment eternal death it's eternal torment it's eternal torment that means they will be feeling pain and torment forever this is what the gift of everlasting life has given us and more that we escape that damnation we escape that condemnation we escape that eternal 
torment and we can drink we can drink from living waters we can eat of the tree of life we can walk in the new jerusalem we can take part you know be inherit the new earth that he has prepared for all those who has accepted his son yahusha mashiach as the adonai and savior so open your lips and let your mouth show forth that praise today psalm 139 i will praise you for i am fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous are your works and that my soul knows right well you will praise him just because you are fearfully and wonderfully made just because don't allow the, uh, the world the world look at oh this one i know so big and this one look ugly and this one so fat and you know hollywood hollywood is only the coca-cola shaped woman that's the beautiful woman i will praise him for i am fearfully and wonderfully made he has made you how you are made he has given you what he has given you you will open your mouth and you will bless his holy name and magnify his name on high hallelujah hallelujah and whatever you're going through today, I want to declare now Psalm 142, I believe. Psalm 142 verse 7 that says, Bring my soul out of prison that I may praise your name. Whatever affliction you're going through today, whatever trial you're going through today, know that it is a test of your faith. And in that trial, and in that affliction, and in that test of your faith, let him pray that he brings your soul out of that prison that you may praise his name. Praise his name for it. Praise his name for it. For your trial, praise his name. For your affliction, praise his name. For the test, praise his name. In the good time, praise his name. Don't let Satan shut your praise. Because he, the enemy don't want you praising him. Because the scripture says, every word that we speak, we shall account for every idle word. And I'm, I put it to you today. I submit it to you today. That offering praise to the heavenly father, Yahuwah. Yes, I was trying to remember the name of the video. Is it important to know and say the creator's divine name? Every believer must watch that video. Watch that video. Make the time and watch that video. I know it is long. It's because I prayed before I went through when went, went went live. I asked the Heavenly Father to send to send his work, Hakadesh, his Holy Spirit to guide me. And I was and the Holy Spirit impressed it upon my heart not to go fast. So I took my time and let the Ruach Hakadesh really guide me through that. Efforts were made to take out the Father's name from Scripture so that you would not pronounce his name. He has a name. It's not a title. It's not a general title of God that was given to him. That's a title. That is not his name. That is a title given by man. Man decided to give it to him. And you'll see in that video where the prefect says that they used a device. They used a device. They have decided to adopt a device and render his name as. In other words, they gave it to him. But hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Most High, glory to the Heavenly Father who created heaven and earth. Glory to the Heavenly Father who is sovereign over all. Glory to the Heavenly Father who has planned for the climax of the ages. Glory to the Heavenly Father who has a great plan of redemption for all who would believe. Glory to the Heavenly Father whose your life is in his hands. You are his sheep. Your life is in his hands and he will take care of, through, of you no matter what you're going through. I know the thoughts that I think towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. He knows the thoughts that he thinks towards us. Will you trust him? Will you praise him? Don't let the enemy shut your praise. Open your mouth today, no matter where you are, no matter what you're going through. And you open your lips and let your mouth show forth his praise for he alone is worthy his name the scripture says his name is excellent saints learn his name because his name is excellent hallelujah praise his name for all that he has done for us exalt his holy name magnify his name glorify his name praise him adore him love yahuwah with all of your heart with all of your soul with all of your mind and with all of your strength. And because of that love, because of that love, his praise will go forth from your lips 
continuously. I will bless Yahuwah at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. That is your declaration today. Be blessed and I'll see you for the next daily declaration. If you haven't yet subscribed, do subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. You know where we, it's all about kingdom talk. We focus on the kingdom of Elohim. We're not focusing on this world. We focus on the kingdom of Elohim. We don't have time with what the world's doing. We focus on the kingdom of Elohim. Seek first the kingdom of Elohim and his righteousness and all the rest shall be added to you. He will take care of the rest. Make his kingdom first. Put his kingdom first. Put your kingdom walk first. Hallelujah. And don't let the enemy shut your praise. Bye for now.